hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today's video i am sharing with you what i do on my typical morning with the kids home on homeschooling and first off in this video i am preparing for some deviled sausages in the slow cooker i haven't tried this recipe before i found it on pinterest and i will link it below for you guys but I'm trying to find recipes that are nice and simple and easy that I don't have to worry about cooking dinner because I'm focusing on helping the kids out with homeschooling. But also I thought this would be a great recipe if you are back at work and you are wanting to come home to a home cooked meal, this would be a great meal. I also am cooking a slow cooker meal because it is getting colder here in Australia, which I'm super excited about. And you will see that I have popped on some flannelette sheets on the beds as well. And I am loving this cooler season. We've even had the fireplace on. It's really, really lovely. And the funny thing is though, because it's going so dark quickly at six o'clock, I'm thinking it's bedtime. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm going to pop on some really good music and I'm going to pop in and talk to you guys as well. Because finally, I have myself a new microphone and I'm super excited because now I don't have to hold up my MacBook to my mouth and do my voiceover. I came into my bedroom to make the bed and I did not have the heart to move the cats so I am going to start off in William's room. William does clean his own room and I will share with you in a minute um, I have found on the floor the cleaning schedule that I have for him like his little checklist that he has to do but for the purpose of this video I thought I would make his bed and he does come in and pick up the rubbish and go and pop his dirty clothes in the laundry but I also had to pull apart his cupboards the other day he has some built-in shelves and there we had a bit of an ant problem and I've had all the stuff neatly stacked up in his room to be put away and I haven't done it yet so that's another reason why I'm in here and I did want to give it a good dust I don't end up coming in and vacuuming in here because you will see who I put in here soon and I didn't want to upset them Does anybody else struggle with their duvet doona cover if you don't have the little tie hooks inside to tie the doona to the actual duvet cover? It drives me absolutely crazy so I was just sorting that out and this I pop like that so William can pull it up if he's too hot at night or he's too cold he can pull it up over himself but he did get some beautiful bedding for his birthday and I'm not sure if I've done a video since in his room to show you what I've got but we have been swapping it out as well. This is actually the blue quilt cover that was on our bed and the ticking stripe cover what used to be on my bed too and William really liked it. So as you can see William is a little bit messy and there is rubbish on the floor and I do call him in to help me pick it up off the floor and his dirty clothes and there is a cute funny moment when he told me that I have to do a smell check on his clothes um, before giving them to him. So we were joking around there and you'll see me crashing on the floor. Get on William's bed is actually clean clothes. When I do the washing and I fold it, the kids and I and Chris all have a basket where I fold it and I pop it in and then I pop it in the room and it's up to the kids and me to pop the clothes away so that way clean clothes don't get thrown across the floor but clearly you could see that William missed a few and they fell behind his toys so I just picked them up and popped them in the basket so he can pop away later on. This 
was the shelf that I was talking about the ants had gotten into all of the movie CD cases luckily they didn't get into his Xbox CD cases so I couldn't get them all out they had eggs all in it so I just used one of those DVD case holders and we popped the DVDs in them but it was absolutely disgusting he's not allowed to eat in his room but I think he has been sneaking snacks so there is a big rule now that no more food into bedrooms and there hasn't been any since so hopefully we will not get them back but it was absolutely gross I did share it on my Instagram and if you want to see more day to day then definitely go head on over to my Instagram so you don't miss out on anything and here I am putting in Duke and Lola into here so I can go and clean and make my bed and Dukey likes to stay there he's such a rag doll but Lola was on the hunt for other things and these shelves and desks Chris actually built for William for his birthday and they're absolutely beautiful I love them he was really clever how he did this and I really really love how Will's room turned out I'll have to check to see if I actually shared his um, bedroom before this but if you haven't seen it this is his little bedroom makeover and we absolutely love it and there's cute little Duke so here I am into our room and I'm just going to strip the bed and pop a new set of fresh flannelette sheets on the bed. I really wish I had blue. I'm loving blue and I didn't even realize that William was wearing blue today too. We were matching but I have blue throughout my house and I had bought pink sheets but I love patterns on flannelette sheets. It reminds me when I was a little girl and my grandma always had pattern sheets. So that is why I have pattern flannelette sheets. I love it. And I am struggling, struggling with this mattress. It is super thick and all the covers come up. So I do need to invest in Super King sheet covers and a mattress protector. But this mattress protector was actually the mattress protector for it. So I don't know why that's slipping up. But if you know anywhere to get some really nice um, Super King sheets, then please let me know so I can check them out. But I'm just going to pop on these fresh sheets and oh my gosh, they smelt so good. I hadn't got them out of the linen cupboard since winter last year and I had washed them with the Downy Unstoppables that a friend had got me and I cannot wait to go to Costco when I can so I can buy some more but oh they smelt so good it was the I think it's the green Downy bottle and oh it smelt absolutely amazing patiently waiting to hop back on the bed when I make it I do pop her up on here and she runs off again and she is a little cheeky in this video today it's normally Luke um Luke Luke who is Luke it's normally Duke that steals the thunder on my videos but today Lola was in full form and you will see what she is up to and we all we need to do now is paint our ensuite I've been meaning to paint it but I haven't yet and I cannot wait to share it with you. I absolutely love it. If you do go and see my Instagram, then you will have a sneaky view of it on there. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I don't normally use the dryer every day um, it has been nice and sunny and windy but today has had on and off showers and I just wanted to get the loads done and it just reminded me as I am editing this video that I do need to swap these um, sheets out and put them in the dryer because I completely forgot about it and I'm just using the radiant powder and the cuddly fabric softener in the sunshine fresh I absolutely love 
radiant. It reminds me of my best friend's mum's washing when I used to sleep over at her house and her whole um, laundry room would smell of beautiful radiant and I just absolutely love it. And here I am now in the kids' bathroom and I am giving everything a good wipe over on the vanity. I was wanting to give this bathroom a little bit of a revamp, keeping all the tapware and stuff like that and making it more cohesive with the home but when I was filming this video it does look really sweet and pretty for the girls and I would just love your opinion should I just change out the mirror the mirror has just got the tiling over it so I don't know if I should put a nice like white mirror in here to make it a little bit more fancy I would love for you to comment and let me know and funny thing is my best friend now who I was just talking about is facetiming me So I'm just going to fold up this basket of towels and there is a uniform of Chris's on top which I'll fold up and pop it on our bench seat so he has his uniform ready for in the morning when he goes to work. But I just also wanted to let you know that this actually isn't my only lot of clothes that I need to fold. I do have the whole guest bed full of washing to fold. I have been really, really slack with folding and popping laundry away the last week but I have been super busy I've been helping my dad out in the garden he has been building a retaining wall for our garden so I've been helping him so I have neglected it I should get the kids to help me fold but I'm very particular in the way I fold so I guess that I'll have to just film a video and do some more folding but Keep an eye out for another video and I will share with you how bad it is. And there is Miss Lola jumping in to the linen cupboard, which you can see I kind of need to tidy up. She has been super cheeky in this video, but she's super cute. She's a lot more scatterish than Duke. Duke's pretty laid back, but I hope you guys have enjoyed um, her jumping in and out of the video. And then I'm just going to give our bedroom a quick vacuum so it's nice and fresh. And this is the v10 dyson animal i love this vacuum but we recently bought a kacha vacuum uh, with the cord and oh my gosh you realize how much power a power cord vacuum has i did used to have a shark vacuum and i got rid of it i don't know why i did that and i'm kind of kicking myself that i didn't keep it um, because I forgot how great a power cord vacuum is and I also do have Bruce that I pop on at night if you've been following me for a while you know I have a little robotic vacuum and I'm going to share a little bit of reality here with you I'm quickly cleaning the powder room and I was about to clean the toilet when poor old Will came running in and is like mum I need to use a toilet so I never got around to cleaning the toilet so that will be in another video but I just wanted to share with you real mum life of kids are here at home and we've just got to get done what we can do i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some motivation i hope you like the chatty voiceovers today and please make sure you click and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would love for you to join my youtube channel and i will see you in my next video bye guys